Hello and welcome back to my channel, or hi if you're new. I'm Anna Mae and I make style, lifestyle, travel and sometimes sewing content here on YouTube. I'm mostly active over on Instagram at Anna Mae by Design, so if you want to keep up with me, best place to find me is there. Today I wanted to talk about and talk through the By Hand London Hannah dress pattern and my experience making this dress. Except I didn't make it as a dress, I did the top version. I can't quite remember how much I filmed making this dress like in the earlier stages because this dress took me a while to finish up because I didn't have all the materials I needed. So I have the pattern here so I guess I'll just show you it is very overexposed. Maybe if I put it in front of my face. There you go. So I did the top version with the bishop sleeve. I purchased this pattern from Minerva, I believe, um, and I had heard really good things about By Hand London patterns. I had seen a couple of other videos of people making this dress using this pattern and the adjustments they had made. I'm very much a beginner sewer, so I don't really make many adjustments to patterns. I say that, but I kind of do. Um, but I decided that this would be a good fit for me, and I really like the wrap style, even though maybe it's not the best fitting thing for my body type but anyways. I had just heard really good things about By Hand London patterns and they, there were so many patterns from this company that I want to try. Um, I also have to say like the way it comes packaged like in this thing with the booklet with the instructions is 10 out of 10. I love it. So the fabric that I decided to go with for this particular project as you've seen in the thumbnail images and I will be inserting clips and pictures of the finished garment, uh, I decided to go with this green linen look fabric and it's kind of this army green, kind of an olivey green but a bit slightly lighter than that. It is really fabulous fabric. I saw it and I purchased it without a particular project in mind because it was on sale. There's little chunks of it falling out. Um, there were chunks of, <laughs> chunks of it on sale. It was on sale um, and I got it for 10 euro a meter, which I think is pretty good. It's obviously not 100% linen. Um, I think it's probably a linen cotton blend. Um, I just got it in Hickey's Fabric in Ireland here. So um, I just spotted it and I love linen. I l cannot express my true deep love for linen. So when I saw it and it was green, I knew I had to have it. I think I bought two meters and I still have a ton of fabric left even though I did do the bishop sleeve. So this pattern, I thought it was gonna take up a ton of fabric, but it really didn't. The other things that you need for this particular pattern um, would be bias binding. I didn't, I had bias binding um, that I thought would work because if you're new here, I have a needlepoint shop, AMK Needlepoint, it's linked down below, and I uh, trim my canvases in bias binding just it's, you know, so threads don't get caught and stuff. And I have green, like an olive green that I use for my Ireland canvas. And I thought it would work, but it was way too big. And you know, where do people typically get their like quarter inch bias? Because I find it harder to get my hands on. Whereas I can get like half inch to three quarter inch anywhere. Um, and it's just massive. It's just way too big. So I had that, I looked at it and I was like, this is absolutely not gonna work. And then I had to order on Minerva. So that was the huge delay. And that's kind of what slowed me down in filming this whole process. I had to wait to get the right color bias tape or bias binding in. And then once I did, it was perfect. Um, I actually have the item here. So this project did take a long time, but not because it was a difficult sew. It was just because I didn't have all the materials and was stressing out about it. So um, you can see it in the inside. It was a really good color match. Um, and I got that from Minerva. The instructions for making this particular garment are really, really great. That's one thing I can give a big shout out to By Hand London for. Uh, the book, it comes in like a booklet format, not like which you get with a lot of conventional patterns and they're like these big fold out things and it's confusing. It's literally a booklet and you can just turn to the page and it's just so, so helpful. Um, I really, really like that about this pattern. It's, I guess, this is what you get when you purchase from an independent brand that couple euro more of a pattern really shows in things like the instructions. I would give maybe a nine out of 10, if not a 10 out of 10 for the instructions. I thought that they were really, really helpful for this pattern and it just makes me want to purchase patterns from this company again. You know, that's when you know it's good. I wouldn't say this is a super, super easy make. Well, actually I think it could be because it doesn't have, um, any lining or anything. I think that there's some parts of it that might be a bit more difficult for a beginner. Um, 
sometimes when you're dealing with a lot of fabric it can be a bit overwhelming I've done that for sure before and um, I really am not a fan of like the process of gathering it just stresses me out when the fabric is pretty thick and this fabric although I wouldn't say it was a very heavyweight fabric this garment is heavy and I'll talk about that again in a second. So other than switching the sleeve which is you know this pattern comes with three different versions of the sleeve and it's very much interchangeable. Uh, it's not shown I hadn't seen it anywhere in the top with the bishop sleeve probably because it's kind of a weird balance but I wanted to have this as like an autumn winter piece so I thought that the long sleeve would be the best option um, in this colour and I'm really glad I went with that. I actually haven't mentioned the two little changes I made. As I said, I don't make that many changes to patterns typically, but I actually do. I just don't necessarily do like very, you know, working on a formula, like really fixing the body as I maybe should, because uh, I have a very short torso, but I do change other things if you've seen, I don't know if, which I'm posting first. Um, I. I filmed one about the Monica dress from Coralina Patterns, which I loved. Um, I didn't put lining in it, even though it has lining in the pattern. I just change stuff like that sometimes. The darts on this are a little bit weird. Uh, I think it's maybe just my fabric choice. Um, I would maybe adjust the darts if I tried to make it again, but I would have to figure out how I would want to do that, and that's kind of confusing. So. That's one thing I would like to change. And then what I did change is the cuffs. I did not do drawstring cuffs. I just put elastic in them, which I think is, I'm just trying to find the sleeves right now. I think it's a really good way to make this a little bit easier. So I just inserted elastic and stitched it in and it's much more comfortable. That way you can just roll, push up your sleeves if you want to. Like I have notes here. That's what I keep showing here, but um. It, the elastic just makes it so much easier and I forgot that wasn't in the original pattern but I would definitely recommend that. It just is a little bit easier and you don't have to make another set of ties which is the other thing that I changed. So as you can see from the clips that I've inserted from photos maybe I don't know if I have any clips of me making them but I have it here on my lap so this top is tied out on the outside by these lovely self ties so you make these and that is fine they're long and really annoying to um turn but they said that you need a loop turner I, like you just do it i mean it's just a, an annoying process but they do look good i think what would be nice is actually if you used ribbon instead like a decorative ribbon if you got some really fancy ribbon from uh, haberdashery that could look really pretty as ties on a dress version of this i think that would look really nice um but it said that you made a set for basically the outside tie and then for the inside tie but one of the videos I watched someone was like yeah just use bias binding so that's what I did for the inside ones they're also much lighter like much more lightweight is what I mean they don't have the same bulk that you would have from these ones because this fabric as I said I it's a cotton linen blend I didn't think it was very heavyweight but it is actually quite heavy for a top and for these sleeves as you can probably see in the movement in the sleeves in some of the clips they are pretty hefty so that is I guess one of the other things I would change is maybe not the I see so you can't tell because I'm just you know waving it around here but this is a heavy garment I mean it I would love to know how much it weighs um I would say I have coats that weigh the same as this so it's a, it's and it's just a top. It's just a linen top. So it didn't feel super heavy when I was doing much of the gathering or sewing. It felt fine. But put all together and after working with a very light viscose for another project I've been working on, like another garment I sewed, the Monica dress that I mentioned earlier, I've realised I'm like, oh, I think I should really lean towards more lightweight fabrics because this is heavy. So I think I've maybe rambled enough about this top. The verdict is I'll probably use this pattern again. I might change my fabric type. I was thinking that it might be a pattern I could use, you know, for all seasons. It's a very, like, you know, it'll work for anything kind of pattern. But I actually do see it now as much more of a summer pattern. Um, and that's fine. I just think that the maybe the shape of the dress and some elements of it are better suited to more lightweight fabric. Um, but that said, you could really work it with anything. And I think adding a really decorative ribbon, if you had like a black 
plain black fabric and then you had a really decorative ribbon for the tie at the side that would be really nice or I think that you could maybe add a trim around the neckline as well I think that would be really pretty and then just along the front of one of the skirts the, of the like the front crossover there's some changes that you could make to this but overall I think it's a really good pattern I think that I really love how By Hand London make their patterns. The sizing I think is pretty good. Um, I, as I said, I think I need to change the darts. I have the um, B cup version, I believe. Um, and I got that because I'm so short in the body. I thought that, that might, even though I am quite a bit larger than a B cup, so maybe that's part of the problem, I don't know but I think I just need to make some changes if I'm going to make this dress again. But as much as I love the pattern and the instructions and everything like that, I'm not sure how soon I see myself making this dress again compared to some of the other patterns I've made recently. So I don't really know how else to say it. I do love this top. I think it's great. Um, I think I have some friends who would really like to wear it as well, but I'm not sure how soon I see myself making another one but I don't really have a good reason. Is that confusing? I think that's confusing. Anyways, if you want to see more of my sewing, follow me on Instagram at Anime by Design. That's where I kind of keep up to date with things. Um, I have a pattern, I have a dress cut out, pieces cut out already on the floor over here. And as I said, I think in my previous video, as I said, I'm not sure. I'm filming both of them a couple of days apart and I don't know which one I'm gonna be posting first. I'm making a couple of pieces for some trips, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, so follow me on Instagram and subscribe here because I'm going to be hopefully making some videos about those. Um, just, I've been on a trip in so long, I'm so excited. So if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel for more sewing content, lifestyle, whatever's happening, and I will see you in my next video.